Hi, my name is Mark Torres, and I specialize in digital marketing for restaurants. Most people that start restaurants don't get in it to be a web designer. The reason why they started their restaurant is because they had a food concept and they want to be a restaurateur and they like service. So really the five bare bones of marketing for your restaurant website are as follows. The first, make sure that you have a quality site and that usually includes quality food photography. Quality food photography helps out a ton. If you've got really good food photography and those pictures look appetizing, you're one step closer to getting somebody in the door. So quality of the site and quality of the food photos is number one. Uh, the second are really strong calls to action. Make sure that you've got phone, address, and other calls to action like a newsletter or reservations or your menu uh, listed prominently on the site. And then also making sure that you're doing some kind of information capture from potential customers and you want to make sure you're capturing things like name, email, but also what's becoming more common is capturing things like date of birth and then also capturing phone numbers. The reason for those two is that for date of birth, it's really nice to get a birthday message from your favorite restaurant saying, hey, come in and uh, you know, have, a free, have a drink on us, happy birthday. The third is ongoing content. Make sure you create the site, but that that's not the end of the story. You need to keep posting content in order for the search engines to take notice. Item number four is your platform. Don't get lured into these inexpensive offers of really low cost hosting. You really are gonna get what you pay for. We recommend WordPress and WP Engine. Item number five is really to have a plan to spend on marketing. Um, you spend money on, on your food, you're spending money on your staff, you're paying your rent in some cases. You gotta make sure that you're paying something for your marketing month by month. Think of it as an expense that's right in your budget and it's your sales. You're, you're using that budget to help drive customers to your door. You've gotta spend some money there and you wanna plan it out so it doesn't overwhelm the rest of your cash flow. 